happening just before the main event, which I think is a really good marketing move in the hope of bringing some new eyes to this show genius. tonight. Absolutely genius, it really is, you know, like, you can't deny the audience that Jake Paul brings in. They've got this fight now over the line in Saudi. They're going to announce it for February the 26th against Tommy Fury. It's a fight that's been on, it's been off, it's been on, it's been off. Now we finally get it, and actually, there's a lot of interest in Ladies this one, a real lot of interest, and I think they're just about to make this ring all now. A massive jeopardy this is Tommy Fury Thomas fighting, you know, a guy who's just come into the sport, literally hijacked boxing, and done an amazing job of it. Do you know something? This is weird because we've been here all night, we've witnessed some good fights and we've seen this arena build up nicely throughout the course of the evening. And it does look relatively full as we sit here right now. But the energy level has just gone right gone up a level in, po in po anticipation of what we're about to witness. Because of the jeopardy of a guy called Fury who's fighting an influencer, he cannot afford to lose. It's, it's extraordinary how he's taken over social media. Hey, and what shape Tommy Fury looks in, having just stepped into the ring. Tops oh, off. Shirt off. Tommy Fury's in the ring and he's taking his shirt off straight away and he is backing in Jake Paul towards him. It does feel, if I'm honest, a little bit WWE, just a touch. But I suppose that is the selling point of this particular contest. Now, Listen, that is the selling point of what Cleveland, these guys do. Ohio, it is boxing USA, slash WWE. That is what you get. You know, it is entertainment. But look at the energy levels in this room. How it's gone up. It's insane. Everyone's buzzing. You can't deny that there's an interest in this fight. Jake Paul walking into Wembley Arena to a chorus of boos. But I tell you what, his music selection of Welcome to the Jungle is absolutely on the money. He's about to walk right behind me and make his way to the ring, draped in white, bling from ear to ear. He steps up onto the canvas and through the ropes to meet Tommy Fury in the centre of the ring. Gentlemen, this is the first time you've seen each other face to face. Let's keep it calm and collected. This is a fight two years in the making. Jake, I'm going to come to you first. And there we go. The oh, boys, you've got lots of tears. Relax, relax, relax. Relax. This relax. was always going to be the case. Let's keep this. Let's keep this calm. Let's keep this calm. One at a time. I'm going to start. I'm going to start with you, Tommy. Tommy, you said. When we spoke earlier, this man's boxing fundamentals are absolutely awful. Hopefully this is going to remain calm. The voice of Justin Zell is actually what you can hear at the moment. He's interviewing Tommy Fury right now. He's been going for too long. He will never box again. You know, I'm not 50. I ain't 40. I ain't an MMA guy. I've been doing this my whole life. And I swear to God, you're finished from 26th of February. I think there was a little bit of bad language there from Tommy Fury. I didn't quite hear it myself, but if it did pop out and, it, and you are offended, we do apologise here at TalkSport. In the ring at the moment, Tommy Fury, shirtless, with his uh, opponent on the 26th of February, Jake Paul, who he's been interviewed by Josh Denzel. You're about to hear the response to what Tommy Fury said from Jake Paul. He has no chin. It's all a joke. I'm ending you February 26th, and you already know it. You're gonna crack under pressure. You're not built for this moment. You're not built for this moment. You're an imposter. It's all a bravado. It's all fake confidence. You can't even knock out a taxi driver. You can't even knock out a taxi driver. All right, all right, all right. Let's keep it going. I was beating better people than you when I was 14 in amateurs. I will screw you. I ain't an MMA guy, I was beating people better than you when I was 14 or you were messing about on Disney Channel. So don't come here pretending you're about it when you're not. What have you got to say to that? He's going to get knocked out by, by a Disney star. That's same, plain and simple, that's it. End of story. You'll see, bro. You'll see who the real professional boxer is. And all these critics, all of these people say, fight a real boxer, here we go. I guarantee, I swear to God, if it's the last thing I do in boxing, you are over in four weeks. So enjoy the last few weeks as a so-called boxer. Yeah? When I hit you on the chin, you're going to stay hit. Believe me. Who? Who in this fight has more to lose, Jake? Tommy has so much to lose, his family's going to disown him when I knock him the f*** out. Oh. Simple, that's it. 
Jake Paul, apologies for the uh, language there that Jake Paul just used on TalkSport. Obviously, you are listening to Jake Paul and Tommy Fury, who are currently in the ring here at Wembley Arena, ahead of tonight's big light heavyweight title fight uh, between Artur Baturbiev and Anthony Yard. Just Gonzel of BT Sport is currently in the ring, just interviewing these two gentlemen. This fight has been announced for February the 26th, Saudi Arabia the destination. And when I say fight, I do use that term loosely. Let's be straight honest about this. I know that there'll be major critics, I know there'll be people listening to TalkSport right now going, why are you giving this any airtime? At the end of the day, these are two lads from the world of television, from the world of reality TV, who have both got famous brothers, 